That is the Alpspitz at about 2,500 meters or so. And today we're doing a Ferrata route, a very difficult apparently one, which is a loop up on the uh, Alpspitzer that does not go to the summit. I've done the summit one before. This is a different one, more technical, but more rewarding even though it doesn't go to the top. That's where we went yesterday, through that valley. We're at 2,000 meters at the Kreuzeck station and that is the Alpspitzer ahead. We're doing a Ferrata route that goes around it, not to the summit. There's the Alpspitzer up there, walking down around the base somewhere and then the climb apparently goes up and around on the other side. We just came from up there and we think that the entry to the climb itself is where those little dots of people are up there which somewhere goes up that wall and over the ridge. Not quite sure. Like this is indeed the route because you can see about half a dozen people working their way straight up the rock face. This is rated as one of the most difficult Ferrata routes in the Alps apparently so it certainly looks that way but uh, also it looks like there's a bit of a traffic jam. It may take a while. Found the entry to the wall climb here. I see people struggling at the top. I'll just continue moving on, yeah? Yeah. Nope. We're part way up what is meant to be the hardest Via Ferrata in the German Alps. This is the view across, back to the rock wall there, and Peter is coming up. We can just about see him coming over the edge there. So this is Peter coming up through the hardest section of the climb. After this, it's going to be smooth sailing. He's crushing it today and loving every minute, I think. Hey, Dan. Give us a wave and a woo. Just made it to the top of the vertical part of the route and are now at the summit of something or other, which is right next to the Alpspitzer. And from here, there are all sorts of routes to go back to the cable car. We haven't decided what to do, but uh, it was quite an alpine, uh, quite a technical route. It was certainly the, m the most technical and difficult uh, Ferrata route that I've ever done, and completely vertical the whole way. Hi, Wendy. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the top. How did you like that Ferrata route? That's pretty good. It was an Alpine D. That's quite hard. It was just like hauling yourself up on cables. It was hauling yourself. Yeah, yeah. It was good. That was fantastically good. And then there's this pointless little five meter um, slack rope at the top where you can practice slack roping with distance underneath you for those who slack rope. 
I don't, so it was pointless and I went around it. Otherwise, I'd be hanging there all afternoon. It's a good Instagram opportunity. Mm hmm. Yeah. I reckon lots of millennials have got Instagram. Mm hmm. Nice view of the Ultra Pizza. much discussion we've decided to take that way down there to get back to the main road and then back up to the hut where we can have lunch and beer because we have time before the gondola closes this afternoon unlike yesterday across the snowfield up the left to the ridge uh, and then up to the right into the clouds is the easy back way up the Alpspitze uh, about 2500 meters and uh, but we're bypassing that done that one a few times before and instead we'll be taking the rude road uh, straight back down just coming over the uh, face of the Alpspitze that is the uh, face that we just directly climbed vertically from down there to up there, the cross at the top, uh, and continue along the contour line here back to the uh, back to the station. Quite a quite an incredible route. We just had to pass through a pitch black tunnel, 50 or 100 meters long, so that was interesting. But navigation by wire only, and from this angle, the rock face we did it looks way cooler than before. <laughs> That looks really cool from here. And we're going just up there somewhere. That's Wendy. Hi. That's the, the fast way down. Garmisch Partenkirchen down in the valley. If the weather was clearer, you'd see Munich on the right, or just on the right. Uh, got to get over there, and judging by the clientele, we've intersected the more mainstream route so simple walk from here it seems that's where we just went up and look Wendy we actually have to go down at this point to get beer down. Excellent. That's how easy it is to get beer from this point. You go down. No, you're going down. Excellent. Well, enough of this chit chat. Let's get the beer. Yeah, I know. I'm just wasting time. It's in the interest of your health. Completed the circuit and the route went down the path there to the top of the scree down there, up the rock face there to the summit, traverse across here, and right back to where we began. Worthwhile, Wendy? Yeah, it was awesome. Fantastic climb. Great route. Great route. Just like Peter. Does that one go on YouTube? I assume it would be your favourite one now. Hmm. Who to share the link with? <laughs>